Hello Tokusatsu community and welcome back to Soku Topics. Today I have something else from eBay to take a look at here. I guess this is kind of a trend now. Uh, you know, like a week ago or so I did that video about the Megaforce Blaster pieces from eBay. Uh, and then I just bought a couple more things from eBay uh, that were like cheap Power Ranger things. And here we are. Here's another one. Um, so today, this is a original Bandai like 8 inch figure of the In Space Silver Ranger. Uh, which because I got this like last week, the Lightning Collection version of him, which you probably saw the video for already. And I saw this, I won an auction for this. I think I paid like five bucks shipped in the end and the seller just like wrapped it <laughs> in a bag, uh, which, you know, fine, that works. And that got delivered here to my campus today. Uh, and I think I've said this before, but like my campus decides to put my last name on packages like this because I don't know. So. I guess we're just gonna have to rip into this and get purple plastic bag all over my bed. All right. And there's a second layer. Ooh, but there's some chrome. There's some chrome. So this is one of the, I believe it was called like the talking ranger figure thing uh, that came out actually, I think during Lost Galaxy and there's like a bunch of dirt on my hand now. That's fun. <laughs> Uh, but here he is, the figure of Zane, uh, one of the original Bandai 8 inch figures and you might be able to see me in there in some capacity, you're probably seeing part of my face, uh, here's my hand at least, because <laughs> he's very shiny, a uh, very very shiny figure of Zane here, uh, and this is cool, I mean I just I like the chrome on this a lot, holy crap, <laughs> it still works, I did not think this would still work. Uh, so this one is copyright, what does this butt say? 98, so yeah, that makes sense. So copyrighted for During in Space, but I think the listing had this listed as a Lost Galaxy toy. So I think it's one of the ones that came out during Lost Galaxy. Um, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's a simple figure, but um, I like it. It's kind of the MMPR original 93 8-inch figure style, that kind of thing. And uh, so it has you know, limited articulation, but not like horrible, horrible articulation. Uh, so he can move his arm all around. He can move his leg forward and back and out. And you can bend it there and you can not rotate it there, but you can, I mean, it kind of moves a little bit, but not actually rotation. And then the foot can move up and down. The elbow can bend. The hand can move. Uh, it can not rotate there. The head can rotate, it's not on a ball joint, uh, but it can just rotate all the way around. Uh, but he has some phrases, so his buckle does have a button on there uh, for it to, you know, say stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Uh, but what's cool about this one here is that like, they actually did bother to paint the little like squares on there, which is something the Lightning Collection version did not have. So look at that, look at this figure like revolutionizing the paint. <laughs> so obviously he's very shiny and that's kind of what drew him uh, to me. Also the fact that I paid like not even five bucks for this. I was like, yeah, that's a that's a good enough purchase. Uh, but as you heard, it did actually work. So let's try to listen to those phrases. Super 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 so it's just that it's gonna keep saying Super Silverizer. I, I, I did think, oh, I can move out with, with this way too. I did think it would have more phrases than that. But then again, I don't really know why I thought that. <laughs> so, um, since he keeps saying Super Silverizer, I don't sure if he ever came with a Super Silverizer. I'll have to look at an old photo of it or something. I have two of these figures, uh, not here with me in my dorm right now, but I do have an original Mighty Morphin Blue uh, from the from this eight inch line. I have a Phantom Ranger f figure from that line. Uh, but Silver Rangers always been one of my favorite Ranger colors. I absolutely love Silver Rangers. Uh, and also he's the first Silver Ranger in Power Rangers history. And when you do an all chrome figure that, I mean, after 20 years, the chrome on this figure really hasn't chipped much. It's in really good condition uh, for like a $5 find, you know? Like I'm I'm pretty happy with this. And overall, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> this is nice. Even if he maybe had a weapon at some point, uh, I don't really care if it's missing or not, uh, but uh, we should probably bring in the Lightning Collection version and like take a comparison if there even really is much to compare. 
All right, so here's the lightning collection version of Zane doing some kind of weird, like, prancing pose. I'm not really sure. This is what I have him pose, like, on my display, but it is weird. And here he is next to, I think, basically one of Zane's very first figures. Uh, obviously, the lightning collection one, I think, is better. I have a huge bias to this. I love the chrome. I love the metallic silver on this thing. I, or the, yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> this is like a metallic silver, kind of. This is definitely a chrome or a... Yeah, that's a chrome. That's what you would call that. But uh, yeah, this is cool though. I think this is a little bit more show accurate in color. Uh, this was He was always kind of one of the more duller Six Rangers in terms of like silver coloring. This kind of makes me think of like an RPM kind of situation or I guess kind of more like a samurai situation where like sometimes the suit is really like reflective and mirror-like and everything while other times it's kind of more of a dull of that color. Um, but obviously he does not have that chest detail. So obviously $28 or 20 year old $5 <laughs> Zane figure wins out on that front. Uh, also, here's the Super Silverizer, which uh, let's listen to that again. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, interesting that these two things and the Japanese and American Ranger keys are the only representations that I have of Mega Silver or In Space Silver, which like I said earlier, is one of my all time favorite six Ranger designs, uh, which is why I was so happy he finally got a Lightning Collection release in 2021 so let's just kind of have Zane chill here if he will he's not going to sit on the fabric of this bed but we can try but yeah I don't really know what else to say about this figure let's take a real quick like zoom in on the head there so the whole mouth plate is that kind of metallic color and there's a big screw hole in the back of his head I'm just really impressed by like how little this has chipped over the years you know I mean there's like a little bit of like I guess chipping right there which is kind of hard to see. I, I feel like maybe there are some imperfections on this, but they're hard to see because of how reflective this is. Like you can see my phone's reflection in like three different areas right there, filming this video. <laughs> it's all over the place. I'm definitely right there in his crotch. That sounded horrible. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I don't really know. Just kind of a fun video I wanted to make for a fun thing that I spent $5 on that I was kind of inspired to buy when I saw the eBay listing go up and also because of his lightning collection figure and such. And uh, he will make a nice little piece on my collection. Uh, he'll be up here for the rest of the semester, but when I go back home, I'll probably add him to like that typical set that I have back there uh, as a really cool piece that I was able to find, which like I said earlier, I do think this is supposed to be uh, a re-release of this figure from the Lost Galaxy line, I do believe. Uh, but it's, I think I have virtually identical to whichever one first came out through in space and uh, it's a fun figure. So I don't really know how to recommend it. I mean, obviously I think the Lightning Collection one is still superior in terms of just show accuracy and such like that. Uh, so obviously, I mean, I would say that the Lightning Collection one is easier to track down, but that's probably actually not true uh, due, <laughs> due to how much of a pain it has been. Uh, but, you know, if you want to get this one, get it. If you want to maybe try to track down one of these, well, I don't know if you'll find it for $5, but maybe you'll find it for a decent price. Uh, at a yard sale or something but it was just a fun little look at something i decided to buy and i hope you all enjoyed it and once again good luck to those who are trying to track down this guy so that's all i got thank you all for watching until next time you can follow me on twitter at liver or at lightning pr i'll see you all later